Hello from me, Nitin Dahad, and Maritza de Palo Emilio for, at Electronica 2022 in Munich on day three. Maritza, hello. Hi, Nitin. Uh, hi, everyone. So, um, what did we learn today? This is, a, this is our final um, uh, video from uh, the show. And it's been quite interesting. I mean, we started again with our um, forums. So the Embedded Forum and the Power Electronics Forum. And I had some very interesting talks on the Embedded side with um, NVIDIA and Pragmatic Semiconductor. NVIDIA talked about uh, training AI models for Edge AI. And it was actually very informative and take us, took us through, through the whole process. And then we had a very interesting discussion on uh, uh, on sort of delivering uh, solutions for not Moore's law scaling uh, using um, uh, sort of uh, flexible semiconductors from pragmatic semiconductor and uh, that was actually a very useful discussion. And then um, for me, I think uh, I will talk a little bit about later about uh, some of the trends I've seen over the show, but I'll, I'll hand over to Maurizio to just talk about the, the, the Power Electronics Forum as well. Thank you, Nidhi. Yes, we, we have had the power, a Power Electronics Forum, uh, very informative uh, talks, in particular the keynotes by Onsemi. We, uh, we have had the pleasure to have uh, as Hassan El Khoury, CEO and President of Onsemi, talking about uh, renewable energies. So uh, it's now, it's important now to take the first step. So we need to move uh, versus gr green innovation. So it's important to to think in a green in a green way, and uh, uh, then we have, have have had another keynote by Vol Speed Guy Moxie, uh, talking about uh, silicon carbide for energy storage. So energy energy storage is a key element for the uh, renewable for for reaching the next uh, energy transition. Because uh, if you have a solar panels, we you should have also energy storage to compensate the night where you don't have uh, the sun, you don't have the, the light. <coughs> And he talk, uh, talked about uh, also how silicon carbide can help in this, uh, in this, uh, in this regard. A lot of other technical uh, talks about uh, energy, energy storage. Uh, I have also have, the, uh, have had the pleasure to, to meet other, other companies as, uh, as needed, in particular for analog devices. We talked about electrification, uh, in particular battery management system, about wired and wireless uh, solution. Maybe Nitin, you can, uh, yeah. you can tell, you can tell us more. Yeah, so um, I think it's uh, quite interesting how um, just continuing on the electrification uh, of automotive, um, one of the big things is around battery management and getting the, the ultimate performance from the battery. So uh, we, we talk to analog devices, but you know, you talk to anybody, it's about um, how can we get more from the battery? Uh, so for example, if you manage the the monitoring of the cells, uh, you know, the, the temperature, the um, humidity, and various other parameters, in a, a very clever way, and I think, be in a very clever way is the operative word here, operative phrase. Yeah, then you can get, yeah, improvements in, um, what is it, miles, miles per charge, yeah. and I think that's what analog devices called it. But yeah, generally that's what everybody's trying to achieve. So um, we, we talked about. Uh, some of the connectivity and you know, wireless battery management. And um, then we just yeah, sort of uh, went into the pros and cons of wireless versus wired, but also some of the, the uh, technologies for connectivity with the ethernet, special ethernet, like I think analog devices have their own called E2B. Yeah. So uh, there's a lot of things going on in, in that just to m improve the way uh, electric cars, electric vehicles can get better range. But then there's lots of other discussions on infrastructure and charging. And yes, you know, I think you can talk a little bit about Maurizio about you know, sort of why you need to get things like the charge times, the rise times, fall times, etc. Uh, I mean, a very general level. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Thank you, Nidhi. So all, um, just let me say also about the battery uh, management. So it's also important the, stat the testing. Uh, I have had uh, the pleasure also to meet uh, Keysight and the testing for single cell or the battery pack is also is different but is also important. Electrification, as Nitin said, is the next step, unstoppable. Uh, we are moving but we need to solve uh, 
problems in terms of charging time, charging, uh, we need to have more charging stations to reduce the charging time. Maybe this thanks to wideband gap semiconductors. This is the next, the next road. I talked also with the, uh, on semi, uh, the next step for silicon carbide, S Infineon, w about again, the next, uh, the next roadmap. So a lot of, uh, a lot of discussion, say, yeah. during this day meeting. I mean, I w one of the interesting things I, I saw uh, was at the SD Microelectronics booth, but then you know, all, the, all the chip manufacturers are showing their solutions. And um, I, I quite like the Ford Mustang, and they've got an electric Mustang there with 17 battery packs all laid out. And we heard at Analog Devices about how the modules electrification platforms are actually being designed around the batteries, the battery packs. But uh, those 17 packs, I mean, you imagine uh, having to monitor all the, the parameters on that and you know, do all the AI to make sure that everything is opt optimized to get that uh, you know, best miles per charge. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, a lot of uh, a lot of things, and maybe tomorrow there will be others to to talk. But I, I think that meeting you you are also here. That would be the best to say during these years. You have seen more in electronica. Maybe if you have something to highlight. Sure. So um, I think uh, over the last three days, I, I think what I've seen is um, there's been a huge number number of people yeah visiting this time yeah. and i think everybody's very enthusiastic at electronica um, the one thing that was very apparent was all the distributor booths uh, were packed yeah with with, with i guess yeah I, I talked to a few few of them and they said uh, yes obviously with things like you know, the supply chain issues everybody's coming to talk about uh, when can they get their, their particular components or devices, and that's uh, actually important. But then the other thing is, you know, just uh, one of the distributors told me uh, it's about uh, like getting all the companies talking to them about new design ins. Um, somebody, I think, uh, I'm not sure who it was, uh, maybe it was um, Steve Head at XP, XP Power, told me it's about managing the boom. And it really, it's about there is a boom in demand, and they're just trying to figure out how to manage that. And that's being shown here at the show where uh, there are a lot of people looking at what they can do. Yeah, exactly. You, you took a good picture on, and posted on LinkedIn. So maybe the, the, the readers can, uh, can look on your LinkedIn profile and see also my LinkedIn profile, of course. Uh, nice, nice, nice pictures. Um, and another, another thing that I would like to highlight is uh, about... Uh, so the power trends, power conversion trends in uh, adapters, fast chargers, power integrations, uh, set a new uh, InnoSwitch 4 Pro, nice, uh, uh, nice devices, I will, uh, I will write more next week. And, uh, but tomorrow there, there are power forum and electronics forum, and uh, in particular, you need to we'll talk about mind engineering, you will, you will say more in, uh, in a bit for power electronics forum. We have uh, Alex Lidl talking about GAN for DC-DC converters. Christian uh, Katrina, power integrations, talking about motor control. And uh, another technical talk from uh, Skyworks. Yeah, so, uh, I mean, uh, I, we, we have on the Embedded Forum a couple of presentations tomorrow morning. And one of them is going to be from Ian Ferguson of Link Software Technologies. It's going to be talking about uh, software containerization and security. And then I'll present... a. Uh, Hot off the press, the uh, the latest results from sorry, the latest Mind of the Engineer survey. Uh, so you'll you'll get a little preview of what's going on there. So if you're around at Electronica on the last day, yeah, do come along and uh, look at the presentation. The, all the details are online. You can get them via eetimes or embedded.com. And uh, the uh, other thing I was just going to say, coming back to some of the people I met today, um, the trends. I think uh, I mean everybody's showing all the chip companies are showing solutions and everybody told me you know like yeah whether it's ST, Infineon, NXP, TI, anybody they're all talking about uh, not showing components but showing solutions because you know customers want to see those solutions and I you see cars on every every stand and you see uh, you know industrial automation uh, platforms on every stand or sorry booth and um, at ST I think I was talked to one of the guys on the embedded side and he was saying the key trends is, are still very strongly, uh, you know, people wanting to put AI on, on, their, on their chips, and then there's the connectivity, 
And, and then, you know, it's just how do you deploy? And I think they showed me specifically Nano Edge uh, AI uh, and how easy it is, yeah, for putting stuff on even small microcontrollers uh, to do good HMI. But the um, other companies I met, just to do a roundup, and then you can talk a little bit more too as well. Um, I, I met with Teledyne E2V, and we, we talked about uh, some of the stuff they're doing in uh, s softwareization of RF. And they're completing the story they started at the beginning of the pandemic on the, on the sort of uh, the AD, A, um, ADC and the DAC, and some of the stuff they're doing with in space, the big demand in, um, in um, aerospace and defense and what they're enabling through that softwareization is that multi-band uh, capability. But uh, we also had a very interesting discussion on, um, is it uh, Dr. Genzel uh, doing stuff with black holes and how some of this stuff is enabling that uh, with the multi-band. Um, also, I think um, the other interesting company I met was uh, Snap EDA. I've written about them uh, uh, over the last couple of years and they're providing um, the models for, the CAD models for all components and they're actually, they've got about 1.4 million, I think, engineers using their platform. And uh, they've, they said the, the biggest problem engineers have when they're uh, actually sort of doing their designs is getting trust in their CAD models. And they've managed to patent the verifi verification checker for the CAD models. So th they're doing that and they've also linked up with 30 different partners uh, like you know, Mouser and various other companies uh, to provide their tool to provide those CAD models via their platforms. Overall, I think I'm, I'm seeing quite a lot of activity, quite a lot of interest. Um, people are really enthusiastic and I think you know, it's, it's uh, uh, a boom time, I think, for, for demand in terms of semiconductors. Maurizio. Yeah, thank you, Nidhi. In terms of gallium, you, uh, you mentioned space uh, like uh, application for wideband gap semiconductors. Uh, I uh, also talked with uh, um, Alex Lidl and uh, EPC Space about GAN for, for space. So next week uh, uh, I will publish a podcast about uh, GAN for, for space. Um, again, uh, we are seeing uh, a very, very impressive uh, widespread of technology. Uh, we are seeing new new devices uh, where the efficiency uh, in terms of also um, power density, the RDS on, etc., are are going to to be at the limit. But we cannot define a limit at at at, at, at this case for for GAN. Silicon carbide. Um, <coughs> I have I have seen also a new solutions from Onsemi. Uh, in terms of uh, packaging uh, and, and and others, uh, Skyworks, a new uh, inverter uh, with uh, with uh, silicon carbide uh, solutions by uh, Volspeed, for example. And uh, in terms of battery, uh, just after the the interview that we did uh, with analog uh, uh, devices, so this is the most uh, expense, uh, the, mo the most part th that uh, um, you can have in an electric vehicle in terms of cost. So, and uh, it's important to, to take care of the battery. So, um, I wouldn't say uh, electron per electron, but uh, you need to take care of the electricity in the battery, uh, try to, uh, to reduce the size, but to maintain the, the range of that car. Because uh, electrification, as uh, I said many times, unstoppable, and we need to improve the powertrain. Wideband gap semiconductors, uh, there will be the transition at certain point from IGBT to, uh, to silicon carbide, maybe in the next years when uh, uh, there will be the next transition to 200 millimeter substrate for silicon carbide, for, 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 for example. Yeah, I think um, if, if we want to talk about sort of general themes from the show, it's obviously been about, I mean, I was quite impressed when you know, talking to various people, including yeah. Hassan from uh, Onsemi, about uh, just yeah. getting that efficiency. And that's one thing. But then you know, there's a lot of talk about sustainability. But how do you enable that? I mean, there's there's so many elements to that. I mean, I was at a dinner uh, last night with Navitas, and you know, just trying to say, okay, well, look, oh, uh, how are we getting that? And uh, you know, it's just yeah, trying to get that efficiency, sustainability. But there's a long way to go for the industry. You know, there there are lots of uh, lots of good talk right now, but I think uh, there are efforts being made to figure out how to 
create those efficiencies, to create that sustainability. And the other observation is, yeah, there's a huge do, uh, sort of uh, demand at the moment. Uh, yeah. And I think that's uh, being reflected here at Electronica. Yeah, indeed. Let me say, so talking about the sustainability is uh, maybe we can stay here until tomorrow for yeah. sure. Yeah. And this is... Uh, it's a, it's a long process, as, as, uh, as you said, a long way, because uh, uh, talking about uh, electrification is important that uh, you can charge the, the car in a green way. Uh, and uh, green way, you there are a lot of so, uh, solutions. So all are hydrogen, green hydrogen, but this is uh, another story. So, But you need also to evaluate uh, the cost of energy for single steps during the manufacturing of anything, something anything so just from serium carbide the gallium nitride but also the single uh, part single thing i mean yeah. and this is uh, this important tell me but uh, the the last thing i was going to say is about well although we talk all about automation uh, sorry automotive electrification uh, and sustainability the other big thing we shouldn't forget and i think there was quite strong message uh, through the show for me is around health and um, i i went on the analog devices bed uh, where they have the reference module for the for the bed sensor, and you know, it just made me think. You know, there's so much going on. I saw another design consultancy, which was actually doing uh, bed sensors and uh, automotive car seat sensors. There's so much more around health, which uh, are opportunities, but we, I don't think we talk about them enough. And I think Electronica has shown me that yeah, it's not just automotive, but there's also the, the healthcare side as well. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Indeed, it's also. And also, Hassan El Khoury, CEO and, pr uh, and uh, president of Onsemi, uh, pu uh, highlighted the, the importance of uh, sustainability and, uh, and, and other elements. So it's, uh, it's important to, to think because we, we don't have time to, but we need to solve and to reach the climate change target uh, in all ways. Electrification is uh, mm, a part, but there are also other elements. So this is uh, a sort of change in uh, mentality. Yep because we need to, to reset our behavior and to start to think in, in uh, like green innovation. Exactly. And uh, I think we could go on forever, but we're going to stop now. So I'm going to say yeah, goodbye from Electronica. Do, if you're still around tomorrow, yeah, do come along, along to our forums. Uh, otherwise, uh, it's a good night for me. Good night for, for me. And uh, so stay in touch on LinkedIn profiles and uh, embedded.com, powerelectronicnews.com, etimes.com, etimes.eu. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.